Kelly Marie Tran is an American actress. She began acting in 2011, with most of her roles being in short film and television. She came to global prominence for her role as Rose Tico in the Star Wars sequel trilogy films The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Born, 1989, age 35 years, San Diego, California. Height, 5 foot 2. Kelly Marie Tran net worth $3 million. Early life. Kelly Marie Tran was born on January 17, 1989, in San Diego, California. Her parents were refugees from Vietnam who fled the country following the Vietnam War. As a child, her father was homeless and grew up on the streets of Vietnam. After moving to the United States, her father worked at Burger King to support the family, and her mother worked at a funeral home. Tran attended Westview High School in San Diego and worked at a yogurt shop to earn money for headshots. Tran then graduated from the University of California, Los Angeles, with a Bachelor of Arts in Communications. Career 2011-2014, Early Work Tran's early credits consisted of primarily college humor videos and small TV roles. She landed a commercial agent in 2011, who got Tran to take improv classes at the Upright Citizens Brigade. At the Second City, Tran is part of the all-female, Asian-American improv group, Number One Son. In 2013, she starred in the web series Ladies Like Us. In 2015, Tran was working as an assistant at a creative recruiting firm in Century City. Personal Life After the release of Star Wars, The Last Jedi in December 2017, Tran became the subject of racist and sexist attacks over the internet, including insults about her ethnicity and size. She was the target of racist trolling on Twitter, in one example, internet personality Paul Ray Ramsey mocked her size. Her character Rose Tico's entry on Wikipedia, an online encyclopedia about the Star Wars universe, was edited by internet trolls to include racist and vulgar comments, which drew national media attention. Fandom, the wiki hosting service that operated the domain, removed the offensive edits, protected the page, and publicly condemned the vandalism. After months of online harassment, Tran deleted all of her Instagram posts in June 2018, and replaced the account bio with, afraid, but doing it anyway. She also pursued therapy following the harassment. Subsequently, several cast and crew members of The Last Jedi condemned the attacks and spoke out in defense of Tran, including writer-director Rian Johnson and actors John Boyega, Domhnall Gleeson, and Mark Hamill, who posted a picture of himself with Tran and wrote the caption, What's not to love? Hashtag get a life nerds. Johnson branded the attackers as man babies and said they represent a few unhealthy people and not the vast majority of Star Wars fans. Other celebrities voiced support for Tran as well, including Stephen Colbert, Josh Gad, Kumail Nanjiani, Gabriel Union, Elijah Wood, and Edgar Wright. In less than one day, more than 20,000 fans retweeted a message of support for Tran from a fan on Twitter that sought to drown out the man babies. She was also shown support at the 2018 San Diego Comic-Con during a rally for Rose, where fans appeared in cosplay attire as her Star Wars character Rose Tico or wore Rose for Hope t-shirts. Fans posted about the event on social media using the hashtags hashtag #ForceOutHate and hashtag Rally for Rose. At Star Wars Celebration in April 2019, Tran received a standing ovation from fans, causing her to tear up at the reception. In August 2018, Tran penned an essay on the subject for the New York Times entitled Kelly Marie Tran, I Won't Be Marginalized by Online Harassment. She described how the matter made her self-conscious, writing that the attacks reinforced the ones she had long faced as a Vietnamese American, and which sought to reinforce a narrative that Asians should be marginalized and treated only as minor characters, both in stories and in real life. Tran further wrote that the ordeal reached a point where she began to believe the negative remarks about her, stating that they had sent her down a spiral of self-hate, into the darkest recesses of my mind, places where I tore myself apart, where I put their words above my own self-worth. She concluded with, You might know me as Kelly. I am the first woman of color to have a leading role in a Star Wars movie. I am the first Asian woman to appear on the cover of Vanity Fair. My real name is Lone and I am just getting started. Tran later said the essay was difficult to write, but also probably one of the proudest moments of career thus far.